Hi, I'm Catherine Charlevoix. Welcome back to Stage to Street. Today we're going backstage with Cara Lindsay at beautiful The Carol King Musical. I can't wait to check out some of her vintage inspired costumes. Let's go. Go to Cynthia Weil. Mm -hmm. She is a famous lyricist yep. and um, she wants to work for Donnie Kirshner, so she walks into his office and um, he and Donnie Kirshner is standing there saying, uh, no, 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 I take demos, so can you please leave? And she's like, no, 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 <laughs> I'm a woman that's ahead of my time and I'm going to tell you what I need mm -hmm. and what I want. And then she does and he's really impressed with her and um, she's super witty and fearless and I think he loves that mm -hmm. about her and he pairs uh, Cynthia Weil with Barry Mann mm -hmm. and then they go on to write many many famous songs and they fall in love. Yeah. So um, it's really special and I feel really lucky to get to play her. I mean I think her fashion it shows her power. I mean, she's chic, and that's literally what um, Carol says to her when they first meet. She's mm -hmm. like, I'm Carol. And she's like, Oh, you're so chic. And, <laughs> you know, and then okay. Cynthia's like, Oh, you are. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, but she's, I mean, they say how fashionable she is. Yeah. And I think she sort of uses that to, to even if she's not quite feeling maybe that confident, but she's like, If I dress that way, I'll feel that way. Absolutely. That's what you are yeah. famous for saying. That's what it's all about. But I think mm -hmm. that is what she does. And, mm -hmm. Honestly, I mean, as Kara, I don't walk around wearing pencil skirts yeah. or uh, wearing heels, really. Yeah. Her costumes and her outfits and her shoes and the whole bit and her purses and accessories, mm -hmm. I mean, that makes me feel like her every yeah. day. Her costumes also show the change of time. Yeah. So both, all of them do, but I feel I like you really see it because too. she is so fashion focused. Yeah, right. in full yeah. force with the, the things that she chooses to wear, including her shoes, but that probably helps you physically get into who she is. You know, wearing a high heel and wearing a tight dress, or whatever, it definitely changes the way you carry yourself. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I know, I'm I know like, you well enough her. to know yeah. right now, like, <laughs> that when you come on stage as her, it's oh, like, oh, yeah. that's She's not like Kara. chest that's, out yeah. and I mean, I, you walk differently in absolutely. heels. I mean, these heels aren't incredibly high, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, it does, it makes you walk, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I, it just, it makes you feel differently. It makes me feel confident. Yes. The red lip and the red mm -hmm. nails are a must. And those are consistent through the whole show. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Consistent throughout the whole show. I mean, red equals power. Yes, it does. And and a, a passion. Yep. Uh, and that is what she's wearing when she first, first enters the stage. Yep. So uh, it feels right. And also in that breakup scene, or well, when they get back, when Barry and uh, Cynthia get back together. Mm -hmm. I think it's interesting that she's wearing red. Red again. It's all uh -huh. red. And I think she's, you know, hoping to run into him and be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look what you're missing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just love this outfit. It makes me feel sophisticated and mm -hmm. it makes me feel a lot like her. Yeah. The, the most like her. And all the um, details and stuff. All the too details. Are very, like, yeah. She's yeah. Just, it like, makes on you the walk. Spot. Just she's always very, yeah. Like with a strut. Yeah. This one's fun. This is the one that people comment on the most. I my, wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> well, my mother, when she came to the show, she's like, I'm stealing that coat. I was like, well, I'll get fired. Yeah, <laughs> not do that, Mom. I love this. And also, she, this is the first time she's wearing pants, Ooh, which these are I beautiful. love. Yeah, and she's wearing riding boots. So this is the costume that I, I really, I love the most. I do feel the most like Cynthia in this particular costume. The red, like I said, power. Mm -hmm. It matches the lips, it matches the nails, the shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the, the scene where Barry and Cynthia get back together. And I actually have a dress that looks very similar to this and it's what I wore for my audition. Oh, really? Yeah, it almost that. looks exactly like this and I didn't do it on I purpose. didn't know. I was just like, oh, Cynthia, red is power, yeah. so. And, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I have a dress almost just like this. And they went, bring that backstage. You can wear it during the show. Mm -hmm. Right. The fabrics are all really pretty, too. And yeah. like a little bit metallic -y? Yeah. Just a little to give bit. it like depth. A little bit of sheen. Yeah. yeah. The way the lights hit it just yeah. makes it pop a little, pop bit, a little more. bit more. This is where Alejo Vietti, our costume designer, is showing the shift in time into the 70s, which I think is really cool. So these are her- And striking dresses. immediately. And striking, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you know where you are. This is fabulous dress, I don't even know what you call this. Shift dress. Shift dress, mm -hmm. she knows she's mm -hmm. fashion. <laughs> I'm not. And this Straight chunky up, bracelet, yeah. which I love, and this long necklace, and these these oh, <laughs> knee-high boots. 
It's just, I feel like a go-go. And girl. those you could wear now. Yeah, totally. Oh, Absolutely. I love these. These are so comfortable. So but yeah, I, I love this. And is this with the wig, the plug This is wig. also with yeah. the, yeah, the, the bang and the chop. Chop. Yeah, the bob. Yeah, and like, you can't help it, even yeah. if they don't tell you what time it is, you walk on oh, stage. Yeah. Well, and wearing this, it's like, aha, I know where we are now. Uh -huh. Totally. And yeah. also, um, Barry Mann enters with bell bottoms. Oh, so cute. We've yeah. entered a new time. Yeah. yeah. She's ever self-conscious. No, I don't think so. Either. No, I think she's always like sure of what she's wearing yeah. and she knows she, she looks, looks fierce. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm always inspired by history and vintage fashion, so I was so excited to come back to my closet to recreate a Cynthia-inspired outfit. And I chose this beautiful blue dress by Slate and Willow. It's a shift dress, and I love the shape. It reminded me a lot of what she wears once we get to the 60s and 70s. And this really pretty blue bow detailing around the neck adds some visual interest and looks super vintage. But my favorite part is that it has pockets, one on each side. I love that it's sort of the perfect combination of contemporary and vintage all in one piece. I think the most important thing to think about when you're styling a vintage inspired look is to make sure you find the right balance between looking vintage but not looking like a costume. I love the look that I put together because the dress feels like a perfect combination of vintage and contemporary with the pockets but still the more vintage detailing around the neck. And so I paired it with a white pump which feels very current and then I still kept the red nails and the red lipstick like Cynthia Wow wears in the show, gives her confidence and power in the workplace every day. And I styled my hair sort of more contemporary the way I wear it every day so that it's a nice balance between feeling like it has a little vintage inspiration but it doesn't look too crazy costumey. It's all about striking that perfect balance. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, click the subscribe button so you make sure you don't miss any more of our backstage style videos. And if you want more information about the looks that I styled and where you can shop them for yourself, head to my blog, Charlotte Bois Chic, or click the shoppable links in the caption below. And let me know, do you incorporate vintage style into your wardrobe or do you stick with the current trends only? We will see you real soon. <gasps> Say bye-bye.